Hi. Since we've been talking about animals who lay eggs, turtles, I thought it'd be fun to read about animals born alive and well. Like my Ruth Heller. Hi, Angus. Just like Angus. Born alive and well. Hi. I can't pet you well while I'm turning the pages. Winter, spring, summer, fall. A hare's hair changes with them all. Animals Born Alive and Well by Ruth Heller. With love and Paul with love to Paul and Philip. And there's a picture of a house mouse right there. Wow, that's one of the chicks that we had in our classroom. He's really developing his voice. What a sound he made. Mammals are animals with fur or hair who nurse their young and breathe fresh air. They don't lay eggs except these two. These are the only two who do. The spiny anteater and the duckbill platypus. They don't lay eggs as, as I have said. They're born alive and well instead. The other ones, the other mammals, except for these two. Sometimes a mammal's hair is scant as on the thick-skinned elephant. Here's an African elephant's picture. <laughs> Hi, I know. But here's a pair with hair. Pekingese and Yorkshire Terrier. And here are lots of stripes and spots. Oh, copies. <laughs> Zebra, ringtail lemur, tiger, leopard, cloud leopard, and giraffe. <laughs> and these have scales and spikes like nails, but all of them are mammals. Pangolin, three banded armadillo, nine banded armadillo, and porcupine. So are camels, and like all the others, they are nourished by their mothers. These are dromedaries. <clears throat> Mammals are wild and, here's a gazelle, a deer, and a stoat. Just like on the, just like on the cover. Mammals tame all do more or less the same. Marsupials are different, but they are mammals too. When they are very, very small into their pouch, sorry, into their mother's pouch, they crawl and grow just like this kangaroo. Koalas are marsupials too. Mammals all breathe air, you understand. This isn't hard for those on land, or even those found. Now hold on, let me tell you what we've got here. Bighorn sheep, moose, mandrill, panda, guinea pig, rhinoceros, aardvark, kangaroo rat, weasel, hare, squirrel, giant anteater, prairie dog, red fox, hippopotamus, fallow deer, bison, and wild goat. <coughs> So even those found underground. There's a mole and a shrew mole here. Or those who fly. Or climb up high. Gibbon, tarsier, marmoset, baboon, spider monkey, gibbon, sloth, and bush baby. But mammals living in the sea have to surface frequently. Porpoise, sperm whale, walrus, seal, narwhal, manatee, dolphin, sea otter.
The porpoise, whale, and manatee have their babies in the sea. There's a humpback whale in the middle. And the porpoise and the manatee. Our rooster has fallen asleep right next to me. But he has to call back to the other rooster, so he might wake up to call back. The walrus, seal, and otter prefer to leave the water. These are prehistoric, but they were mammals too. Their names are very long indeed and may be very hard to read. Oh, great. You guys set me up for this. Glypdont, Gomphotherium, Macrochenia, Baluchitherium. Baluchitherium. Not too bad. Those weren't too bad compared to that Aztec book. That was the hardest thing so far. <laughs> Probably because the language is so different from languages today. The largest mammal is the blue whale. The smallest is the shrew. The best of all are people, just like me or you. All of us are mammals. Our rooster has tucked his head into his feathers on his back and he is ignoring the other rooster. There's no more to discuss. Everyone who's born alive is viviparous. There's a cheetah, taper, hedgehog, pig, sheep, and horse on this page. Winter, spring, summer, fall, a hare's hair changes with them all. Ruth Heller, one of my favorite author illustrators. We'll read many more of her books together. Have a great day.